Hi Ben here and welcome back to another Work in Progress Wednesday and today we're actually in the woods. It's a beautiful sunny day, very end of August and Lois has got the idea that we're going to be picking some blackberries later but first things we wanted to actually show you a few knives that we've got with us today. We thought we'd have another fun little knife show in the woods so we've brought a nice selection of our different styles of blades with us, lots of different handle materials and we thought you'd like to see it. So we've got a nice selection of six knives here. So we've got some of our different shapes and patterns. First are some of my sort of favorite when it comes to craft work. So these are actually called the Craftsman. So this is actually a very slender blade profile on this one and a very nice sort of unshaped handle. It hasn't got the heavily shaped contours like on a Woodlander. So it's a, just a sort of gentle teardrop shaped handle, very comfortable for when you're actually doing craft work so you can hold it in a multitude of grasps really nicely and then we add a little blood knot on the end of here just to give it a little bit of extra length and also to ease getting it out of the sheath so this has got stabilized English U and black liners with brass hardware and this has actually got an acid stone washed ABL stainless 3 mil blade on this one so this one has actually got the square spine, so you can still use it for using with a ferro rod and things like that. But uh, yeah, the Craftsman, just a really nice shape for spoon carving and any kind of major craft work really, because you've got such a narrow blade section to it. So that one comes in a nice Orford tan belt sheath that Lois has made. So that's a nice ABL Craftsman. We've actually got another Craftsman this one's a slightly different configuration. So this one is in thinner stock. So this is actually in 2.5 mil polished O1 tool steel. So you can see that the bevel looks slightly narrower because obviously the blade thickness is slightly less. And this one's got a stabilized olive ash handle, brass hardware and black liners again. So slightly thinner blade section so if you really are only going to be doing carving and craft work, the thinner the blade stock, the better really. So this has actually had its spine rounded, so it makes it very comfortable if you're applying pressure on the back of the knife when you're carving with your fingers or with your thumb, it just prevents any kind of hot spots really. So that one's got a nice little blood knot on the end of it again, which really just helps when you're trying to just break that thick, uh, sort of friction fit of the wet molded sheath it just helps you get a little bit of extra leverage to get the knife out of the sheath. So that one's got that nice Orford tan with natural stitching again. And these are all belt sheaths. Then we've got a slightly bigger version of our sort of woodcraft range of knives. So this is called the Campcraft knife. So a bit like the Craftsman, this has got this sort of elongated teardrop shaped handle to it again to facilitate the ease of multiple grasps so if you're doing like the scissor grip or the chest lever grip it means it's very comfortable you've got no sort of shaped butt to the knife sort of giving you any hot spots in the hand now this one's in an unusual handle material I don't use this very often but this is in Hawthorn which has got lots of sort of folklore and sort of ancient sort of uh, mystical magic properties in it and I really like it because as you start off making it it's quite a pale creamy colour and as you use it it will oxidise a little bit more and you'll get a really nice golden colour to it coming over with age. So this one's got really thick uh, maroon red liners to it, brass hardware, similar sort of blood knot on the end going through the lanyard hole and this is in 3mm stock and in ABL with that acid stone wash finish to it as well which I really like because it emphasizes that shiny bevel on it as well so this has got a square spine to it so you can still use it with a ferro rod perfect as your everyday sort of camp craft and bushcraft knife really so this one comes in a nice coyote brown belt sheath heavily wet molded 
so that you got that real nice positive fit in the sheath. Yeah, perfect, perfect little campcraft knife. So then we've got a slightly bigger brother. So we are always making woodlanders. They're a very popular knife when it comes to bushcraft. So this is actually a four and a half inch version of our woodlander knife. So four and a half inch blade to it. The handle is slightly longer and slightly deeper than our four inch woodlander. So it actually suits people that have got a slightly bigger hand or if you're gonna be wearing gloves when you're using it. And this has got this amazing double dyed masseur birch which has got this sort of black and green streaks running through it which almost emphasizes the curly grain of that masseur birch so this has got brass loveless bolts again thin maroon red uh, g10 liners we've got a polished stock to this so polished flats and then this is in 3.4 mil 01 tool steel with a razor sharp scandy grind and again with that spine left square so you can use it with a fire steel or for making kindling making uh, shaving, shavings for getting your fire going yeah really nice knife stabilized wood so you've got a very very stable handle that's going to be perfect in all sorts of weather conditions now this one comes in a smoky brown belt sheath and natural stitching and Lois has made that so again it's got that really nice wet molded deep fit so it's not going to come out when you're walking on the trail. The next nickel knife which is one of my favourite designs this is our pixie knife so this is actually one of the smaller full tang designs that we make again with this really nice elongated teardrop shaped handle this is in stabilised English U with thin red liners this is in polished O1 tool steel in 2.4 mil stock with a razor sharp scandy grind. We've left that one square again so you can use it for uh, getting your fires going using it with a fire steel but a really beautiful little knife if you want a smaller backup knife to a bigger belt knife and just so nice to carve with. A lot of people tend to wear these as a sort of companion knife normally put a bit of paracord through there so they can wear it as a neck knife it's small enough to wear as a neck knife but still capable of doing lots of chores that a fixed blade will do. Yeah, pixie knife, really love this one. This has got some really nice figure into this English U handle as well. And what Lois has done is she's made a smoky brown sheath with this one, which has actually got red stitching, which matches the red liners of the knife as well. So really, really nice little knife. English U has just got such a lovely sort of feel to it and look to it. And then finally, the last one in the lineup is one of our four inch Woodlander classics. This is probably the most popular bushcraft knife that we make. Four inch blade, perfect size handle for most people that have got up to about a size 10 glove size. Heavily uh, shaped Coke bottle style handle, so it's got this really nice sort of flared butt end, so you've got lots of positive grip even if your hands are cold and wet. And this is made from stabilised Thuya Burl, which has got these amazing sorts of bits of figuring in it. Very uh, strong resinous smell to it, almost a bit like fat wood. Smells amazing, feels amazing, and is also a really good waterproof handle material. But with that amazing grain in it, it's just incredible. And then this one's got thick black G10 liners, stainless fittings. This has got stainless quarter inch loveless bolts. And then what we've got on this one is a acid stone wash, three mil stock in our ABL steel, which is basically making a totally weatherproof and waterproof knife. Absolutely ideal for if you're going fishing, if you're going canoe bushcrafting, just a great weatherproof knife really. And then Lois has made a nice coyote brown belt sheath to go with that with natural stitching. And I think that coyote brown really complements that through your burr. So yeah, that's the little lineup for our knife show in the woods.
So that's our little selection of fixed blades that we're going to have actually on available on the store this evening. So hopefully there'll be something that'll be perfect for your everyday needs, whether it's a small craftsman's knife if you're into carving, or whether you want a big bushcraft knife. Now you might notice that I've got a slightly red face. That's because it's been very sunny and very hot, but it also sort of matches the red liners that we've got on this little U pixie as well so that's the kind of dedication that I've gone to 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 make it all complement each other but uh, yeah watch out for the hot sun in the end of August I would say but yeah thanks for watching thanks for all the subs over the last few weeks sorry that we haven't been quite as regular with the uploads we've had back-to-back -back shows over the last few weeks so it's been a little bit of a test to make sure that we've got enough products made for the shows and also to get content for the channel. But uh, yeah, thanks for all the support and hopefully we will see you next week.